Hey, what's up there guys? Corey here with Android Community and today we're taking a look at the Google Keyboard, the stock keyboard from Google that was uh, released with the Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. As you all know, it's available for all. It is now in the Play Store, Samsung's HTC. You can all get it just like Swift Key and Swipe and what have you. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of tips and tricks for the stock Google Keyboard that you may not have already known. Obviously there's a lot of settings we're all familiar with, auto capitalize, capitalization, you know, in a personal dictionary and hiding offensive words and uh, all kinds of things here and then just like swipe or uh, swift key flow you can you know slide your finger around to type if you'd like with uh, that next word suggestion and then advanced settings there's tons of stuff in there that makes it kind of convenient as well but a couple of the tips that I I, I like that a lot of people don't know is um, they have uh, text expanders for me always writing androidcommunity.com if I don't want to type that whole thing out I just have it set to when I type AC there's a little pop-up that will let me instantly just write the whole word so the text expanders are super convenient make things really quick helps for email addresses website addresses you name it it's, it's convenient and another thing here is next word suggestions I'm actually not a fan of that because I would rather if you disable that as you type you get punctuation options instead of next word suggestions so if you go into something like you know a keyboard here and uh, as you're typing along and you write something like you know go to and when you hit space this would suggest the next word if you had that enabled but instead I have all the punctuation down here instead that's just a personal preference but a lot of people might not know that if you disable that next word you know suggestions you'll get all the predictions down there so that's convenient and then regarding the text expander here I'm going to write go to androidcommunity.com so instead of writing out the whole word I just type AC and there it is the little uh, can't, can't, might, might not be able to see it all because it's too long but at the suggestion right there you tap it and the whole thing comes up instantly go to androidcommunity.com really convenient really fast and super easy and I'll show you how to do that in a minute and then next obviously we have you know your usual typing for the latest news go to androidcommunity.com for the latest news and uh, as you go, obviously you see here, there's a couple dots below news right there. And if you push and hold that, it's going to give you a whole list of words you may have uh, meant to write. So this is kind of another option if you don't have that next word suggestions or uh, anything like that. This kind of help you uh, with words, you know, makes the typing experience better. So even you go to the word latest, I guess that one's not going to do it. Go to news, tap, hold it, and you see everything that you could have, uh, you know, you might have wanted instead of what the word that it, it spit out. So that's one feature that's really nice that a lot of people might not know about as well. Um, surprisingly, that's new to a lot of people. And then obviously those same little dots are down here at the bottom. And so if you push and hold the uh, microphone, see that settings button appears, and you instantly have an option to go into the input options for the Google settings. And the same thing, push and hold the space bar. It'll give you all your input methods for uh, the Samsung keyboard, swipe, swift key, whatever you have available on your phone, those will appear. And then obviously if you push and hold that period, you get a bunch of punctuation options. And another thing a lot of people might not know is uh, the return key, if you push and hold that, it becomes a previous key. So you push and hold that previous and it'll jump up to the uh, previous input field. So as, as you're typing, if you mess up, you can just push and hold that instead of having to to fumble around and put your thumb all the way to the top. So that's one more nifty thing. And then, uh, see, we'll do one more here. If you click and highlight everything, this is new to me as well. You click and highlight the entire sentence and hit the shift key, everything instantly with lowercase in a matter of seconds. Super convenient, really quick, really easy, and it's one of those other tricks. And then again, if you tap it one more time, the first letter in every word is now capitalized. And that, it just does it on its own. And uh, Google doesn't tell us that anywhere, but it's just one more uh, nifty little trick. And uh, so that's nice. But then regarding the, uh, when I wrote AC, and you get that little text expander for AndroidCommunity.com, you just go into the, sta the stock settings, go into Google Keyboard Settings, and go to your personal dictionary. So a lot of people go in there and add names or LOL or curse words or what have you, so uh, autocorrect doesn't ruin you. But uh, if you go into the personal dictionary and just hit the uh, plus button up top, it'll give you an option to add anything to your personal dictionary and then just below that's a shortcut area so uh, for Android community my shortcut is AC and when I write that it instantly gives me that you know text expansion to write Android community in one quick quick way so as you see that's the text expander you hit type AC and that's my shortcut to write androidcommunity.com very neat very helpful and just quick easy little tips and tricks that a lot of people might not know about the stock Google keyboard, but it's available on the Play Store. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys.